Charlie made a video about you and speed fundraising. Stinko mode. I was about to hop in the shower, but I started watching a couple of Twitch clips as the water was getting hot, and it just made me upset what was going on about a certain situation that I turned the water off and decided to march on over here like a toddler who just got told that he was put on Santa's naughty list so I could sit down and rant about something. So that's why I'm a little greasy right now, as you can tell. I've got my white t-shirt in sport mode, got some pit stains going on, and I just need to rant right now. I'm fuming. There's fucking steam coming out of my ears like a cartoon character. Door Why are door people door so fuck- Yeah, as of this very moment that just passed, it has been officially 24 hours since the first earthquake hit Turkey. Fucking weird <laughs> when it comes to disliking people online, where if someone they don't like does something good, they will find every excuse to hate the good thing they're doing. It is people's complete fucking inability to recognize that a good thing done by a person they don't like is still a good thing. You don't have to all of a sudden hate the good thing they've done. Why am I talking about this? Two very large streamers are doing a really good thing right now, and there's still a pretty decent sized chunk of people that are shitting on them for it and trying to find any weaselly way of making it seem like it's a negative thing. The two big streamers are Hassan on Twitch and I Show Speed on YouTube. Both are very controversial figures in the space, and right now they're both doing fundraising streams to raise money for people in Turkey and Syria. I'm sure all of you saw yesterday, Turkey and Syria were devastated by a massive earthquake that led to the deaths of thousands of people. And today, both of these streamers went live to collect money for a fund to help out as much as possible. Right now, Hassan has raised over $330,000 for the Turkey-Syria earthquake fund, which is a fucking ton of money in a pretty short amount of time. And somehow, people are spinning now. that as a horrible thing. I Show Speed also raised a tremendous amount of money for the fund as well, and he was getting text-to-speech donations that were fucking unhinged like this. Pin message! Pin message. Thank you. Y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. Y'all welcome. Hassan Piker is taking all the money for himself. He lives in a mansion. All the money is going to him so he can buy a new pool for his mansion. Yo, chat, what is going on? Nah, nah. Speed, it's a scam. I am being. It's a scam? Bro, I don't. Oh my god, dog. Y'all see, look, bro. I don't, I don't know who. Imagine hating an internet streamer so much that you will pay money, your own hard-earned doubloons, your own hard-earned clams, to donate it to a different streamer just so you can keep shitting on the one that you don't like, and then cook up your own little tinfoil butt plug conspiracy theory on why what they're doing is actually super shady and the money's not going to the charity, it's going to luxury items. That is a wild concept to me. And then also donating to call the whole thing a scam. Another very wild thing to me. Because from what I can tell, this doesn't appear to be an illegitimate organization or an illegitimate fund. It seems like this is money that's going to be extremely useful to the actual people in need to help out victims and help out. But, you know, for some reason, this is being spun by not a large group of people. I want to make this clear. It's not a ton of people. It is a pretty small vocal group of people that are trying to find any way of spinning this as an overall negative thing that both these, both of these streamers are doing because they don't like the streamers. Now, I'm not here to be the PR manager or tell you that you need to suck their dicks for this and fondle their balls for such a great selfless deed. I'm not trying to be that soldier in the meme who's like taking bullets while a baby is sleeping soundly right in front of me. Like, it's totally fine if you don't like either of these streamers. That is completely fine. In fact, IO still hasn't even gotten over I Show Speed's last crypto scam with Paradox Metaverse. She's still very upset about that. She had to jump down. She was so sick from it. Of course, I'm kidding. Even my cat's not stupid enough to fall for a blatant crypto scam like that. What the fuck was that noise? Jesus Christ. All right. Point is, you can dislike the streamers. You can say, I Show Speed scammed and I'll never forgive him for it. But then you can still see what he's doing right now and be like, okay. Dude, I've never done, I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong in this situation. I haven't done anything wrong in the past other than fucking buying a house where my mom uh, can come and live with me. I bought a nice car that is well within my fucking, well within my, my, uh, wealth, I guess. I don't hide how much money I make. I, I, I don't do any of that. I just, I hate it. These people are so fucking desperate to vilify me that they like, even, even when I'm trying to fucking, even when I'm trying to raise money, 
for for a cause actively they like go and harm the the fundraising efforts like there are literally fucking people under rubble right now okay there are people that are currently trying to survive under rubble they might not make it over the course of the next 24 hours and instead of instead of turning around and being like yeah maybe this time we should just let it go we should just let us on do his thing they just they went and actively undermined uh, uh, I show speed and stopped him from donating fifty thousand dollars. He was like, "I'm gonna donate fifty thousand dollars to this. It's fine. Like, I I don't care. We've raised a lot of money. I will donate more money as well. It ultimately doesn't matter, okay? But like, it's so crazy that like this is how far motherfuckers go. They stopped him from donating fifty thousand dollars. They said it was a scam. And worst of all. Hundreds of thousands of people who are watching him probably think this is a fucking scam. They just lied and said, I'm filling my own pockets. I'm lining my own pockets in this uh, while, while we're raising funds for. I don't know what to do, man. I, like they're they're harming other people. They're harming other people because I am the person who is like. Helping uh, put this shit together and I'm not a controversial person at all. Yeah, you can fucking cry about like America deserved 9-11 or whatever the fuck all day every day. But it's insane. Yeah, selfishly lining the pockets. It's not even that like, look, Ahbab is a really good charity, okay? It is one of like I I it's not just that we're fundraising here as a community, okay? It's not the money that I put in personally. It's the fact that alongside a bunch of other streamers, we were able to put together a successful way to raise funds from America and give it to a very reputable Turkish charity when that reputable Turkish charity currently has no way of receiving American funds other than like a, a, a SWIFT code. That's a very difficult process. And there were so many people that were working behind the scenes, linking, uh, linking up actively while this shit is happening, while people are fucking, while people are dying, so that we can get money as quickly as possible to those in need. Okay, and there are still people. There are still people who like don't give a shit about any of that and just run to make this look like a bad thing. Haters gonna hate us. A small group, he said. Why not just ignore them? Because I show speed. I didn't want to make a bigger deal out of it while he was live, especially because I can't directly talk to him because he's banned on Twitch. But the reason why I didn't want to fucking, uh, I mean, the reason why it's it's a big deal is because it's not a couple people. There are like hundreds of these motherfuckers who just do everything they can to ruin any initiative, including this one. Okay. And and it works like they got I show speed to just be like I'm not gonna actually uh, donate more than fifty. Uh, he's like I was gonna donate fifty thousand dollars. I'm not gonna do it, which is fine. He doesn't need to. Anyway, my situation is nothing right now. It doesn't matter. It's frustrating. I shouldn't think about it. I shouldn't get upset about it because there are people who are absolutely fucking destroyed. Their lives are devastated. There are people who are currently under rubble, okay? That's infinitely worse. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know how to fix that. I, I, I don't know anything. Big thumbs up. That's a good thing. You don't have to go out of your way to try and find any kind of like fucking wild, outrageous reason why what he's doing is bad. Because it's just not. No matter how you spin it, getting money to people in need after a fucking tragedy like this is a great thing. And the same goes for Hassan. You can dislike Hassan till the cows come home. You can dunk on him on Twitter all you like. You can say El Bozo on every fucking tweet, whatever. But when he does something good like this, you don't have to try and find some kind of crazy way that it's a horrible thing that he's doing. Because again, it's just not. It, and if we're going to play ball with what I see a lot of people saying, and they said the same thing about Mr. Beast, where it's selfishly motivated, they're just doing it to grow their own brand and look good, it's a PR play... Let's just assume you're right. Who cares? If that money ends up going to the victims here and helping people in need, who cares what the actual motivation behind it was when the result, the outcome, is still a great benefit to people that absolutely needed it? Why is that an issue? Yes, of course, you can still question the motives, 
totally fine. To like this guy still, you can you can fix that by communicating with Mr. Beast for talking, donate issues, and getting more money for Turkey. Like this guy has it in his head. He's like, Mr. Beast is going to solve this problem. And he hasn't fucking stopped. Okay, he's like, no, no, no. Mr. Beast is going to solve this problem and he's going to solve your... Uh, solve the issue of like psychos uh shitting on you for no fucking reason no man there is no mr beast in the circumstance also i fucking forgot to run the top of the ri break i think or did i run it i don't even fucking know anymore i'm i'm so oh no i did run it okay good like i reached out to him i the people are busy they're not always like i did run it i, I ran it there thank you for the hundred get the subs Gio Loroso. I, I think that's totally reasonable as well. But at the end of the day, it's still just not a bad thing because the people that need the help are getting the help. It's just that simple. That's how I always view these things. I understand that's not going to be how everyone views it, but it always just makes me really fucking upset when I see people doing a good thing and then still getting shit on for it because people don't like them. I feel like good things can be done by people you don't like and you can still acknowledge the good things without, you know, all of a sudden needing to do a 180 and love the person who did it. For example... I don't really like Elon Musk. I think a lot of the shit he's done has been like pretty underwhelming and he hasn't done a lot of things that I think are like good changes, especially for like Twitter and shit. But I always give credit where credit's due. He did an incredible job on Twitter with getting rid of a lot of open pedophiles. Why don't you donate the amount you've collected so far right now? What do you mean, brother? I don't, this money is not going into my pocket. It's going directly to the fucking charities, brother. Oğlum salak mısınız siz ya? What? I'm assuming this is generic BS. You're taking nothing pursuant to an agreement between soft giving and influencer. Influencer may be compensated. Yes, it's generic fucking. Uh, it's generic boilerplate bullshit. The map community, the mine. But look, look. But like, even then, you're literally looking for an angle. You're looking for a cynical angle where, like, I'm somehow benefiting from this beyond the fact that, like, we're just raising money for these charities, and this was the most effective way to get money to, especially one charity that is very difficult to fund, uh, to to pool funds together for. Do you understand? Do you get it? Do you get it? This money doesn't touch me at all. It goes directly to a 501c3 that then uh, sends it over. It's a direct charity. Inner attracted person community on Twitter that operated out in the open and flourished for years on Twitter. Literal pedophiles got decimated once Elon Musk actually finally put it in his crosshair. He did a good job there. And I can recognize that while also still not being a huge fan of Elon Musk and the other changes he's made. I just view it as a super simple thing that a lot of people lack the ability to do for some reason. Now, again, I, I, I want to make it clear. I'm not like blowing this way out of proportion. I understand it's a very... Also, this is not exactly... This is not the first time I've done fundraising or even donated my own money. Like, this is not the first time. It will not be the last time. We've been doing this for a long-ass fucking time. And we're going to keep doing it. I don't know... Uh...